the Breakfast Club host, Charlemagne the God, small g, has got an issue. Come on, you gotta be kidding! Should I vote for Joe Dementia, who he calls shitty? They're gonna put you all back in chains. Or should I vote for Donald Trump, who he calls the Antichrist? It is what it is. Well, that's a problem, a conundrum, if you will. What the fuck? But there's a third option. He just happens to live in Florida. Fauciism was wrong. Fauciism was destructive. I'm Jasper Gonzo on this. Taking. Um, taking. It's what's next. A happy Thursday, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jazz Gonzo. This is What's Next, your daily dose, another episode for you. Hope you guys are doing well today. 2024. Of course, we're in the almost mid-January. This is election season, as everyone knows. And, of course, there are many options out there. You've got Joe Dementia, who doesn't know what day it is, and also who loves to take naps. You have Donald Trump, former President of the United States, who felt he got screwed in 2020, and kind of hard to argue with that. Then you have others, you know, Nikki Haley, Vivek Raswamy. And then you have, in my opinion, what's needed now. One Ron DeSantis out of Florida. But that's just me. But you have some who are caught in the middle, if you will. The Breakfast Host, a national syndicated radio show and podcast seen by hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions. The host, Charlemagne the God, small g, has a problem with Joe Dementia, with Donald Trump. And here we go. This comes out of Breitbart. Charlemagne the God, Joe Biden is a shitty elected official. Well, facts. While Charlemagne the God has no love for former President Donald Trump, he also feels that President Joe Dementia has proven to be a shitty elected official and a vote for Trump would be a vote for the Antichrist. I could stop it right there, but I'm sure it gets juicier. The host of The Breakfast Club shared his thoughts on the 24 election during an interview with CNN's uh, News Tonight, News Night, which of course no one sees, endorsing Joe Dementia in 2020. Quote, it's not that I regret endorsing Joe. I put my name and reputation on the line with my listeners. And when my listeners feel that he didn't deliver, they come back to me and say, hey, hey, man, you're the one who told us to vote for dementia. You're the one who told us to vote for knee pads Harris, he said. The radio host said that Biden is a shitty official while simultaneously fearing Trump. I think that President uh, Biden historically has been a, lack for a better word, a shitty elected official. But you know, Donald Trump is the end of democracy as we know it. Of course it is. Charlemagne did not say if he would vote for Biden again, which he probably won't. I'm smelling RFK, but just me. Adding that a vote for Trump will be a vote for the Antichrist. Quote, Donald Trump is the end of democracy as we know it. I don't know what to tell people. I know what it sounds. And when you say it now in 24, uh, you've heard it so much because at every time a Republican candidate, people say, oh, the end of democracy. You know, democracy, which of course we're not. We are a federal uh, constitutional republic. He's the Antichrist. This is the one times where you know it's really actually positively true. Learn to be good. And in the end, oh, you benefit. This from is that Michelle Obama. Resilience. Sorry, didn't. No, no, what a segue. As Donald Trump argues that he is above the law, that was Michelle Obama saying that if Trump were a black man, he wouldn't be allowed to run for any office. Let That's right, of course, because of racism. Joining me now is radio and podcast star and co-host of The Breakfast Club, Charlemagne the God, along with politics and culture commentator and host of The Native Land Pod, Angela. The Rye. Native uh, so Land Angela, Pod. Michelle has this great skill of being able to shame <laughs> Donald Trump without ab ever actually uttering Ah, uh, virtual signaling, check, box checking at its greatest. Of course, I mean, you made some waves in a recent interview saying that you regret endorsing Joe Biden. Why? It's not that I regret. Why? Are oh, you retarded? Uh, Joe Biden. It's just that, you know, I think that we all can get burned, you know, by politicians. President Biden historically has been a, a lack of lack of a better word, a shitty elected official. But, you know, Donald Trump is the end of democracy as we know it. 
The radio host uh, issued his critique of Joe Biden following an interview with Politico wherein uh, he will not be endorsing Joe Dementia or Kamala knee pads in 24. I've learned my lesson from doing that, he said. Once they got into the White House, uh, she uh, kind of disappeared. You think? Charlemagne also said that during a guest host on The Daily Show in December that Biden should drop out of the race. Smart man. Biden's not getting any younger. He's not going to get any more popular. He's not getting a new running mate. Please, Mr. President, give America the ultimate Christmas gift and step aside. Quote, I know uh, he thinks, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I know he thinks he got this in the bag and the polls say otherwise. Yes, my polls. Here, look at the polls! I want Biden stepping in to beat Trump the way I want him stepping in to defend me at a bar fight. I appreciate your caring, but I don't like our chances, he said. The fact of the matter is, is that anybody who should have taken this lesson on who not to vote for should have watched the clip with one Dwayne The Rock Johnson when he slobbered all over Joe Dementia and Knee Pads Harris in a endorsement. Right there should have been the indicator. Red flag should have been going all over the place, especially when it comes to those libs who are in the media saying, whoa, wait, wait, whoa, 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 wait, what, 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 why, what? But Charlemagne even said it. I got burned. And I won't get burned again. Now, whether, well, I'm not going to say. He's already said he's not going to vote for dementia. He's not, he said he's not going to vote for Trump. So now, who does he go for? I briefly mentioned RFK. Could he vote for RFK? Possibly. But there is a viable third option, which in my opinion is the best option. He just happens to live in Florida. And his name is Governor Ron DeSantis, who has been phenomenal over his last four years, especially where it counted the most, COVID year. And that's not bullshit. That's facts. But we'll see if Charlemagne learns from his lesson. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Bergonzo. If this is What's Next, want to see more like this, please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it, hit the notification bell so you guys never miss a thing. Continue to spread the word about the show. Help the show continue to grow, and we'll see you next time. Peace.